Yeah, I don't think me going all the way north is at all necessary, really. The Car Starks, Boltons, and Mand Mandalies are all uh, moving to assist anyway. Hmm. The old king didn't have the balls to attack, but his son does. See, Viserys isn't too bad if he wasn't a lunatic <laughs> and a coward. I just find it hilarious that my dragon is fully master the art of diplomacy. He's gonna, gonna talk my enemies into allegiance. But no, um, yeah, the Car Starks, Boltons, and Mandalays have all arrived at the wall to kick their ass, so I highly doubt it's necessary for me to do anything, really. Yeah, the war's almost uh, already over. There was no chance the Wildling is... They, they picked a really stupid fucking time to do anything. There's a reason every Wildling invasion ever has ended. Because they attack and then they get outnumbered and killed. The only reason Mance Raider's war was any different was because the rest of Westeros was all fighting each other at the time. And the Starks were incredibly weak and most of them dead. <sighs> They're attacking those Roseford guys again. Surprised they hasn't just killed them already. Let's do it on max speed. See what happens. Loras Tyrell died of severe stress. So Nesta Royce of Runestone is only 18. Yes, I have you. Someday I will hold lands of my own. My house needs me more than the realm. Hmm. See yourself. Yeah, true. He's an heir. I didn't show that when I hovered over him. Um, who's that other guy that I highlighted? Yeah, this guy. He's only 28. And he's a duelist and a formidable fighter. Bravery, he's cruel and ambitious. So he may agree to join the cup. So join the Night's Watch. It'll be a great desire as well, night, blah, blah, blah. a fray, I will never have a fray on my Kingsguard. This guy's 20. A legitimized bastard, but... We'll ask him. He's a brilliant commander. I don't know if I just glitched the game into having one too many knights watching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure if it's seven or six he's supposed to have.
the Eye of Six allies, which is the Stormlands, the Riverlands, and the North, Martel, you know. My rule is solidified. I mean, really good, solid rule. Everyone likes me, kind of thing. <laughs> oh, John of the Dreadful died of severe stress. And his son has inherited. He's got his brother as well. Hm. He's made Harren Hall his capital. See, this doesn't say that he's the heir to the north. Roslyn Mud. Kind of, once again, it's really quite depressing. They are twins, but one of them didn't make it. That's the sucky. <laughs> He's celibate now. Meaning that that kid is the only thing that's, you know... What's going on here? No thanks. I don't want you popping out more kids, really, to counter with my own kids. They're gonna come with your son, so no. But the last, you know, limited amount of Harlaws in the way of the succession, really. <laughs> ah, fine. He really wants that Iron Maker ass. <laughs> I think Garland Tyrell actually quite likes me now. I think it's been a few years since the uh, incident. <laughs> He's still maimed from fighting the dragons and everything. Speaking of the maiming, he just died. Do I have any daughters not wed to somebody? Nope. I do not. Nice Tyrell's dead as well. Loras Tyrell died a while back. There's few in the Tyrell line left, and I don't think any of them have a strong claim to the Reach anymore. Yeah, there's still some of them around, but not many of them actually have a strong claim. He's 10, so I'd rather have a air of description that actually is around his age, to be honest. Yeah. 
There you go. See, this is why I lock the fucking door so that people doesn't come into the fucking room when I'm recording, because it's seriously annoying. I have to turn around and give them evil eye and tell them to pretty much like in my mind saying fuck off now. <laughs> they still fighting this Rosford dude, seriously. Just kill them all already. I don't get how the hell they seem to be like just chuck the AI. I don't know what the hell the, the AI is doing in that little battle that they're having, but they're doing it really fucking stupid. Huh? Twenty-five to sixteen. God damn it! My dragon sucks in comparison to hers. Seriously, my daughter is just a fucking Visenya Targaryen reborn kind of thing. We need to get her dark sister quickly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the books he's the bloody weaker of the dragons. Oh, there you go. Okay, get an alliance with the Reach. Hmm. It's not even a war against the tyranny of the Reach, it's a war to rescue a prisoner or something. Daenerys has been doing lately, but you know, she's uh, not popping out any more kids. He just suddenly stopped. I think Targaryen now actually has relations with pretty much everybody other than the uh, Sarfields who control the Westerlands. Who was it? I was wondering... Him. Yeah, that's it. Does he have any claim to anything? No, he has a strong claim to the Reach, so I'd rather not give him kids, really. We'll leave him be. I was thinking about marrying my granddaughter to him, but... It's not worth it. What plots are you in? Hmm. 
bloody uh, Hugo Mud is looking to fabricate a claim on the north against his uncle, I suppose. Yes, it would be his uncle. Oh, that's my uncle. <laughs> what plots do I have? Nothing much. The Crown Loyalist faction is now led by my granddaughter. Or my daughter-in-law, sorry. Whatever. Who the hell, and why can't I join their war? Why the hell would he have the right... It's why, why can't I step in here and say, no, you can't do this? Hmm? Why wouldn't I be able to step in and say no? Hmm? Hopefully he can win. not the guy I want to arrest. Yeah, it does beat the crap out of them. Hopefully he'll keep, you know, hopefully he'll win this little war on the reach. He looks like he will, if he keeps winning like that. Joins up these forces and everything. Hmm? Fire and Bluff and King's Landing, they say that Dragons of and the Prince Rhaegar Targaryen is their master. Where the hell did Rhaegar get this? Rhaegar found a wild dragon, or hatched a dragon, somehow. Sweet. Okay. More dragons the better, I suppose. He still has to tame it. He hasn't tamed it yet, but... Did, they, did the Nervous have an egg or something? I know they lay eggs, but it's like really rare. Yeah, it was the, it was the parent of that. Yeah, so uh, Daenerys' dragon must have laid an egg. I guess. Yep. Great, more mad children. New Age of Dragons begins. I think the Age of Dragons already began when I started burning all of my enemies in the previous rebellion. <laughs> I 
I get what he means, though. Dragons are hatching and stuff all over the place. I can almost... What's this for? Alright, yeah, that. Send in plenty of gold and silver. Simply in gold and silver as well. It helps the Lord Paramounts and makes them a lot happier. I do believe that's every one of my daughters married off. Yep. The Iron Isles, Riverlands and North, the Vale, the Stormlands, the Reach and Dawn are all sharing blood with the Targaryen line via the female line at least. Which gives me claim to, you know, pretty much everybody. It pretty much put, it puts everyone on my team, really. I think I've got every single Lord Paramount that there is in the, in the Crown Lord list, it's, and it's led by my daughter-in-law, so. And Dragon Eggs are spawning all over the place, although I believe that my daughter is currently probably the best military leader that we have in all of Westeros with the most powerful of dragons. Yeah, I'm not far off being where she is, but she's a better military commander. Just, like, hands down. My dragon is, yeah, it's, it's still quite powerful. Hell of a lot more powerful than my son's one, which is recently hatched. And my wife's is still powerful as well. That's 24, and then my daughter's one is what? My daughter's dragon has 23, so it's gone down a little, for whatever reason. I think it's because it's got misguided warrior or something. Still, it's, uh... Quite interesting. If we do continue on the series and play as House of Mud, we can use the dragon that my daughter has in order to claim independence for the North and the uh, Riverlands as the King of Rivers and Hills. But we'll see how that goes. We might not be able to do that because I've, slit I've solidified the Targaryen's rule in Westeros so much that I don't think a Mud's independence rebellion it would really get me anywhere. Because all the Lord Paramounts now owe me their lives. They're really good and close, close and loyal allies now. So I don't think they turn on me. The Westerlands might, but then again, the Westerlands are... You know, the Sarfields control Westerlands because I let them control the Westerlands. The Tyrells might rise up against me. I might be able to get the Lannisters to join me if I played Mud, maybe. But uh, I'm not sure. Because the Reach, the Stormlands, Dawn, the Vale, and the Muds themselves all share blood with Aegon the Targaryen. Uh, Aegon the Conqueror come again. Aegon the Wise, but really he's Aegon the Conqueror Mark II, isn't he? With his uh, she-dragons. <laughs> and now I must decide whether to sit on my ass in times of peace and do fuck all, or use my incredibly awesome dragon powers to declare war on random people. Fuck it. Claim by conquest and whatnot. But I think, I'm not sure, did the, uh, did the fucking Summer Isles attack us at some point? Is that scripted and launched yet? Did they fail to launch that invasion? I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to go kill them all, nonetheless. They will be my new province, and we shall set up, no doubt raise some minor household from Dawn, like the Yornwoods, maybe. And make them the uh, Lord Paramounts of the Summer Islands. But that's what we're going to do. The, the North is currently in a little war over some Reels territory, but they might, so they might not come to my aid to assist. But I have dragons, you know, so I'd like to see them stop me. Ah, <laughs> the war has begun. We're going to name him Hand of the King. This guy, I think. Actually, the Scholar guy might be a lot better at being Hand of the King. Yeah, we'll, we'll name the Lord Paramount of the Westerlands the Hand of the King. And that way he can do that. Okay, we'll see who comes to my aid during this war.
the Lord Paramount should oh. declare. No. Oh. Okay. <coughs> the the Iron Isles of. Uh... Okay, there you go then. The uh, the Summer Isles have surrendered to me. Hmm. Okay, that was a really anticlimactic weight to the whole thing, really, wasn't it? Empire of the Southern Sea. Or the Summer Sea. No, thanks. Okay, he, he's just uh, going to be... Uh, he's infirm and a shitty ruler. And he still likes me. Okay. So, all of this, he doesn't appear to be bothered about being conquered. I don't suppose I have any kids available that I can marry him off to. Nope. No? Okay. Who else do we attack? Uh, I'm thinking Pentos, because we can. You know, that's the end of the game here. I just want to, you know, invade everyone. See how much if we can take all of Essos kind of thing. Or everyone's just going to surrender, is he? I see no point in the conflict with your dragons. I hereby surrender at fourth and square field. Excellent. I doubt the Bravosi will be so... Willing to bend the knee, but we'll see. I'm gonna go fucking kill those dogs at the moment. Aha! Yes! The Bafosi want war! I will honor my obligations. 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 Even the, I the Summer Isles honoring my obligations. Everyone is honoring their obligations. Bravos is fucked. I mean, do I even have to take my dragons out? Or can I just, like, let them deal with things? I could probably just let my Lord Paramounts deal with this. They're the entire of the Westerlands and Pentos, which is just bent the knee to me. By the way, what is an dragon invasion without chocolate eggs? Well, it's actually more along the lines of chocolate shards, which I got from my uh, I got a chocolate e chocolate egg with from my half sister or something today. But uh, ever since I was a kid, all I do is smash the egg against a wall and it crumbles into little pieces and I eat it like that. <laughs> but yeah. There you go. That's a tidbit of information for you. Soul eats his chocolate eggs as tiny little chocolate egg shards. Now you know! <laughs> Just gonna see how much these ships can take. <laughs> 